Hello gardeners, how are you doing today? I wanted to show you this area of the garden that we have dedicated to birds. Um, this is my front yard. Instead of grouping plants by color like I've done in other areas, what I wanted to do here was gardening with birds in mind. So there's two things that, or three things that you want to provide for birds when you garden. One of them is seed. So you have to plant flowers and um, plants that will provide the seed during the cold season when there's not a lot of food out there. The other one is fruits. I don't have at the moment much of that. And the other one is insects. So you want to provide plants that will attract insects so the birds will have caterpillars to hunt. And another one that I forgot to mention is nectar for the hummingbirds. Right there you can see I have sunflowers. These sunflowers, um, I have them obviously for the fall. Right now the bees are happy, they are pollinating, they are having the best time. But come fall and winter we are going to have a lot of mainly goldfinches coming for them. Uh, and it's really, really nice to see how they come and eat. There's other birds that also like them. Um, here we have Liatris picata, the uh, blazing star. They also provide good seed for the birds. Uh, again, the finches are the ones that come most to my yard, maybe because they're very tame, they're completely unafraid of people. So they come and get um, the fruit. Here, this one is a garden huckleberry that honestly I planted for myself. We're going to use some smoked blueberries. Um, here, some Rudbeckia irta, variety pulcherum, pulcherima, sorry, and that's uh, black eyed Susans. And they also provide good nectar for the insects and seed for the birds during the winter. There's some water for the birds, which is always good to have. And there are the coneflowers. The coneflowers are a great source of, of course, nectar for the insects, but also the seed is very sought after by the, um, by the goldfinches and other birds. Here you can see scarlet bee balm, Monarda didima, which uh, the hummingbirds like very much. We have more water there. And honestly, I find that this area of my garden, the water is mostly used by insects. I haven't seen a lot of birds. I do have birds coming to the water bath in the very early season. But right now in the summer, it's mostly birds. The other thing I have growing here is a beautiful specimen of cardinal flower. Cardinal flower, uh, it's like the favorite plant in my garden at least, the favorite plant for the hummingbirds. They come and they nectar and uh, it's, it's great because they start blooming at about the same time that the hummingbirds are arriving to our region in Center County. So that works really well. So that's this area dedicated to birds. As you can see, there's still a lot of work to do. But this is where we are this year. Again, the neighbors are very happy with how things look around here. Uh, we try to keep the fine edges. We try to keep masses. So it looks like we meant it to look like that. you have enjoyed this little tour and happy gardening